only had five hits, and they won 9-3. to three. That's the kind of game. That's a single to right field as that falls right in front of Doughty. And that turns over the lineup. And the second hit of the game for Utah State as Rayleigh is standing at first base the last three weeks or so. They're going in, that's hit up the middle, and now starting to swing the bat. And much better. They're going a wide turn. It was bobbled in the outfield. She'll slide in safe at second. Nice base running by Taryn Irigoyen. And the Bulldogs have a runner at second. Here is the pitch from the right-hander, Mia Reynolds. Dowdy, that's a base hit, and that's her first hit and her first RBI in a Bulldog uniform, and the Bulldogs lead one to nothing. It's kind of been a theme as well this weekend, talking about the 81 season both ways. That's bunted by Nielsen. That'll be a tough play to first and thrown away. That'll score a run, might score two. They're going to send home two runs, and now at third is Nielsen as that ball gets away, and Nielsen will score the pitch. Steele hits that one to the gap. That'll be a base hit. RBI single for McKenna Steele, and it's a 5 to nothing lead for the Bulldogs. They are on a Saturday afternoon here in Fresno. Denby, that's hard hit. That'll be a base hit up the middle. Rounding second and heading for third is Nielsen as that ball was cut off. And you've got runners at the corners with just one out. Two balls and two strikes. The pitch. Williams chops that one to first. It's bobbled by the first baseman over to the second baseman covering the first base bag. And they'll get Williams out, but that'll be an RBI as Nielsen scores. Here is the pitch. Lawley grounds that down the third baseline. That's a fair ball. That'll be another RBI for Avery Lawley, and the Bulldogs lead 7 to nothing here in the fifth. Who reached on that error uh, by Steele. The pitch from Hanlon, that's down the third base line, bobbled by Steele over to first, and that's another error on the third baseman. That's back-to-back -back errors on Steele, and you've got runners at first and second. Oh, one count. That's grounded to third baseman. Steele bobbles it. That'll be another error. They go back, and now they've got a player in a rundown. They'll get it to Lawley. Lawley will go back to Denby, and they will give it to Hanlon, and a run will score. Batting 227, the pitch. That's chopped high in the air. That'll score a run. Nielsen over to first is safe. The ball gets away from the first baseman, and everybody's safe, and two runs will end up scoring. One ball, one strike, one out, the pitch. Denby hits his high and deep to right center. The wind will hold that up. It'll be caught by the center fielder, McFarlane. That'll be a sacrifice fly as the Bulldogs get their 10th run across on the RBI sack fly by Alicia Denby. And this game is over as the Dogs win by a final of 10-2, plating three here in the bottom of the sixth inning.